A brand new MCC Friday update has recently been released for us guys to go over, talking about the ring status right now, the new invite system, we're no longer using emails, more details on that, and some content that was going to be in this flight has been cut. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel more than you probably even know. So let's get right into the content here. So Friday, March 27th, Postums went online and gave us another little update when it comes to the flighting status of the Halo 2 anniversary as we are inching very, very close to this right now. They're in fact working over the weekends to get the build prepped ready for Ring 1 and 2 public flighting. As stated by Postums in the updates saying that we are almost ready to begin testing ring one and two we are not flighting a build to them yet as there are a few blockers once those have been resolved and verified we'll begin flighting for ring one and two groups and then push our flight public for halo insiders in ring three now as we've known from reach and ce's flighting process usually when these ring flights start to happen which looks like it will be very early in next week so we'll probably be beginning the public flighting within a week a week or two at the absolute most so make sure you guys are signed up on the halo insider web page get up update anything you've changed if you have a new pc build since the last time you played update that if you've gotten even a new xbox if you upgrade to an xbox one x or a s or anything like that make sure you update your halo insider guys so it's the most accurate performance that 343 can receive to make sure that this build of the flight is uh the best it possibly can be talking about being ready for the flighting builds to get signed up there is a bit of a change that has recently happened as stated by postums here saying going forward we will know what longer be sending out emails with all pertinent information surrounding a flight. We have been testing out our new information delivery system on Waypoint and we'll be putting it through the rounds with our one, ring one and two folks. Now that probably leaves you asking a question of, well, how are they gonna give us the information we need to know when it comes to flighting out this game so we can give it the best feedback possible? Well, it's not exactly detailed at the moment as I'm sure we'll know more once once it actually goes out to ring one and two when it comes to flighting information. Postums did do a little clarification on Twitter about this and I'll show you guys the tweet that he put up right now. PSA, I will be writing out information about how invites and steam keys will work in the very near future. I realize there are lots of questions about it, but I have a lot of writing to do in a short period of time. Please be patient and I will share more details as soon as I can. So if you're asking a question of, well, how are we gonna get our information? You just gotta wait. It's ready when it's ready. Pretty much the standard MCC process, right guys? I know, I wanna know more, and you will know more as soon as it becomes available. I will let you guys know in a video, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel to keep yourselves up to date with everything going on in Halo. In previous videos on these updates that we've given out for you guys, that they've mentioned about how this next flight was going to be a really jam-packed, content-filled flight. They were saying there were gonna be Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo Reach audio fixes, and CE frame fixes as well. Well, uh, even mentioned about Forge and Theater with Halo Reach as well, and it looks like that's not going to be the full story, as we mentioned at the top of the video. That some of the content had to be cut out for this flight. The flight will only contain Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary for the public flighting. Postman essentially states that Halo Reach and Combat Evolved fixes and additions essentially need a little more time in the oven to cook. Sadly enough, I was looking forward to hopefully get a chance to play some theater mode, play a little bit of Forge as well to kind of show you guys what's going to be in those flights. As I've been very consistently invited to the flights, so I certainly will make content as soon as it becomes available uh, link in the description for my twitch channel which i will definitely be streaming it as soon as it becomes available guys i can guarantee you that so the scope of flight for halo 2 anniversary is going to contain halo 2 halo 2 anniversary campaign and multiplayer and theater mode for halo 2 anniversary only so it doesn't sound like we're beginning any forge i'm not quite sure what kind of halo 2 content we'll be getting probably just multiplayer that would stress test the servers and make sure everything works fine and there's any weird glitches or bugs or anything like there was in the ce 
PvE fighting. I'm sure we'll probably bring that up as well. And then probably give us a mission or two when it comes to campaign. So like I said, guys, I certainly will be making content on this and some feedback and let you guys know if any bugs and fixes and updates that will be coming for us. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. But until then, they state that the team is currently heads down, grinding out the content, trying to get us ready as soon as possible for us to play, which is a bit of a bummer, but I'm certainly cannot wait to get a chance to play these. Like I said, these ring processes generally take about a week or two if there's no major bugs, which Halo 2 is a game that was built on uh, the PC version, so a lot of heavy lifting, I'm sure, to get to the PC build uh, release was probably pretty easy, much like how CE was, even though, yes, there were some odd bugs and things that kind of made it through the game, but overall it worked fine. And Halo 2 Anniversary is built off of the Halo 4 engine, which is obviously in-house 343 code. And so I'm pretty sure that we can get the, through these bugs and fixes pretty quickly. And I actually would even think that Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 might even be rather bug-free releases. Not completely clean, squeaky clean, 100%. There might be some things that make it through, but for the most part, you'll be able to play, and you'll be able to have a great time doing it. Also, Halo 2 Anniversary should be a pretty good test for a lot of systems to make sure if your PC can run decently played games right now. Obviously, it came out in 2014, and it's based off of the Halo 2 engine that was made on PC for the campaign side of things. The multiplayer was built on Halo 4. So we should get a pretty good idea of what kind of PCs are needed to play Halo 2 Anniversary, as it's gonna be the most taxing game on your system within the entirety of the MCC. Uh, they most likely will release a spec list of what your like, minimum recommended and ultra kind of specs are to get a chance to play Halo 2 Anniversary much like they did with Halo Reach as like I said the game came out in 2014 it could have a lot of extra additions to the game that make it a little more taxing on your system to play. I recently upgraded back in the fall and so I'm pretty much set and ready to go uh, but if you guys could play some any like, go in video intensive games back in 2014 say maybe Battlefield 4 on your current PC I think you'll be just fine. I'm really looking forward to this because I get so many bad frame drops in Halo 2 Anniversary playing on the original launch Xbox that being able to play on PC at higher frame rate, higher FOV, and just the clarity of that is just going to be so amazing. I cannot wait to jump on and play it. Like I said, guys, I've been making tons of content on it. I'll let you guys know what's going on. I'm also expecting to see a new season come with this release of the game as we have now jumped into a new season as uh, we are in spring at the moment. At the time of release of Halo Reach, it was winter at the time. And so another reason why I believe we're going to get a new season as recently Postums also was on Halo Waypoint getting some feedback when it comes to getting nameplates within Halo MCC, focusing mainly on feedback for nameplates for Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. Essentially, just asking like what nameplates do you like? Which ones are your favorites? What kind of things would you like to see potentially added to the MCC? You know, if you guys have any feedback, make sure to leave it in the comment down below. I know we mentioned this on a different video, but not everyone comes back to see them. So if you guys didn't know, they're looking to add some more nameplates into the game. I'm assuming we'll probably get some fantastic artists coming in with that. I did come in with my own suggestion as well, and just to give a little more feedback to help them understand what's going on here. So some of the suggestions I did make were maybe the animated ones would be pretty sweet. Uh, I like the one we have for Halo 5's HGS one, where if you have to be to the HGS event, it has kind of a bit of a flash that happens to it. it. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, but something like that. Maybe numbered nameplates for help out with clans. Just cool looking designs like the winter contingency nameplate looked pretty awesome with like the skull and the ice and all that kind of cool stuff and also just kind of maybe just random logos and uh emblems from the halo universe like the mark of shame from uh about the arbiter some unsc logos or uh maybe even the banish i wish i do believe there actually is a banished nameplate now if i do remember correctly but i would love to see a sweet looking yap yap one just because it'd be pretty funny to look at that and uh or maybe just cool designs like uh like we see with the new grassroots nameplate you know it's not really anything like crazy looking but it just looks clean and sharp and you know it's pretty prestigious it's rather prestigious so i think it'd be pretty awesome to have as an extra addition when it comes to this so bad that you know getting feedback now about different kind of nameplates would be kind of indicative of showing that they're going to be releasing a new season possibly with halo 2 anniversary's release we'll see though uh, i mean i'm assuming the full release of the game probably happily 
in the late of April or early May. So plenty of time for artists to get their uh, fingers on some keyboards and start typing away and making up, drawing up some awesome art for all of us to enjoy, which I would definitely be looking forward to that. I keep an eye out that. Like I said, guys, I'll keep you guys up to date with all that stuff that's going to be happening with the Halo franchise, especially MCC, Halo Infinite, all that stuff in between. But yeah, guys, that's about everything we get to talk about in the video today. So if you'd like these news, informational videos, please make sure to like, tap that like button. Like I mentioned, it really does help out the video a lot, guys. And if you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I have a playlist right there. It keeps you up. To, it has all my news videos right there ready for you to click on. So if you missed anything, check that out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.